consider a hypothetical experiment in which a material is placed between two very wide and large parallel plates. If a solid, such as steel, were placed between the two plates and loaded with the force P, as shown, the top plate would be displaced at some distance and the material will change its shape. As you can see the red point, it changed its initial location from point, point A to point B. If it deforms by the angle gamma, then this angle is called, shearing strain, which is usually measured in radian. We also need to note that, to resist the applied force, P, a shearing stress, would be developed at the plate material interface, and it is given by force applied per area. The effective area would be the upper plate area. It is well known that for elastic solids, such as steel, the small angular displacement, called the shearing strain, is proportional to the shearing stresses that is developed in the material. This is Hooke's law. Where G is, modulus of rigidity, it is the ratio of shearing stress upon, shearing strain. Now, what will happen? If this steel is replaced with water, and the force is applied to upper plate, keeping lower plate fixed. In this case, the water will of course, deform with certain angle, and also, shear strains will develop, just like modulus of rigidity for solid, there is viscosity for fluid. Similar to modulus of rigidity, viscosity is the ratio of shear stress to strain rate. Strain rate is the change in strain or deformation of a material with respect to time. As time passes, fluid get deforms. But later in this video you will see that the rate of deformation of a fluid element is equivalent to the velocity gradient. So you can write viscosity as the ratio of shear stress upon velocity gradient. Now let us get deeper in it. Remember, water always sticks to the surface, so water particles at top and bottom layer sticks and when constant force is applied, the top layer of fluid moves with the same velocity of plate. But bottom layer have zero velocity. These particles sticking to surfaces because of the no-slip condition. The bottom layer fluid particles tries to slow down adjacent layer and so on and that's why velocity changes along the distance between two plates when upper plate is moved. The velocity is changing with respect to distance between plate, so we call it velocity gradient. In steady laminar flow, the fluid velocity between the plates varies linearly between zero and maximum velocity v. With this linear relation, we can easily obtain velocity at any location by using similar triangle relation. Let's find velocity at any location y. If u is the unknown velocity then, by similar triangle relation. Now this is the velocity profile, which is a function of distance between plates, and again by taking their derivative you can easily obtain the velocity gradient. Now we need to get the relation between the angle of deformation and the velocity gradient. During a differential time interval dt, the sides of fluid particles along a vertical line rotate through a differential angle beta. While the upper plate moves a differential distance, dA equals V dt, as velocity is distance travel upon time taken. Then solving these geometry.
look we prove dead. That the rate of deformation of a fluid element is equivalent to the velocity gradient. Further, it can be verified experimentally that for most fluids, the rate of deformation is directly proportional to the shear stress. And so is velocity gradient. Then by the linear relationship of shear stress, where the constant of proportionality mu is called the coefficient of viscosity, or the dynamic or absolute viscosity of the fluid. As you can see, how it relates with the shear stress, deformation rate, or velocity gradient. If you look this figure properly, viscosity is actually a coefficient in a stress-strain relationship. You can verify taking slope. Its ratio appears same everywhere. Shear stress versus the rate of deformation is a straight line whose slope is the viscosity of the fluid, as shown. Fluids for which the rate of deformation is linearly proportional to the shear stress are called Newtonian fluids. This is the plot of viscosity of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Most common fluids such as water, air, gasoline, and oils are Newtonian fluids. Remember for water or Newtonian fluid, viscosity is always linear, no matter what. But for solids such as steel, modulus of rigidity is not linear forever. There comes a point where Hooke's law is not applied. Please, subscribe for more animation. For now enjoy reading. And bye.